Alright, on today's episode on LBB Atlanta, I got the Beamer 325i, my first oil change, you know. I've been watching everybody else on YouTube showing you how to do it, and I guess I'm going to try to do it myself and see how it goes. LBB, we're trying to have this low budget build at all means. Okay, for today's choice of oil, I have the Castro Edge 5W30 Full Synthetic. You know, uh, I could have did a little bit better on the filter. I tried to get the mobile one, but they didn't have them in stock. So I was like, okay, hey, I'll just take what y'all got for this good little deal. BMW recommends that you use Castro. So yeah, that's what I go with. And we're going to keep it rolling because it's been riding smooth for so long. I'm not going to go different. Okay, here we have... I call this the double whammy. We have the original Jack, and we have this Pro Series, whatever this guy is, you know. So I like to double up because I'm not trying to get crunched being under the car. So two is better than one, you guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, hey, if anybody wanna send me one of those fancy heavy duty Jacks, by all means, go ahead. Because on my page, on my channel, I will definitely need it because I'm not a mechanic and I'm doing all this on my own. I'm looking at other people's YouTube channels and trying to do it the best way I can. So, hey, go ahead and hook your boy up. Okay, so I had another little technical difficulty using the other jacks. I couldn't get to the bolt that I needed to, to let the oil out. So I had to go with these stands right here. But now I have another problem. This is what happens when you have a toolkit that looks like this. Everything that you don't need and everything that doesn't fit on a German car. So now I have to wait for one of my friends to come just so I can get the bolt off just to change my oil. See, this is like, it's fun, but it gets frustrating, but you're also saving money in the long run. Okay, so the muscle then showed up. This is a good friend of mine that I grew up with. He's building an 18 wheeler. So if y'all want to go ahead and send good parts, we need Garrett turbos and everything. We're gonna have him a, his own little series in episode two. So I'm about to get to this work, man, and I'll check back in with y'all in like two seconds. So my buddy knows how to do all this shit way better than I do. Basically, be teaching me this shit. He got a whole better tool setup than what I got going on. That's a whole set. Oh, okay. So this set is this is what's going on right now. We're trying to see this bolt right there on the end. We're trying to get this little guy off for the oil to come out. So once that comes out. All the oil shoots down into the pan over here, blase, blase. All right, so my buddy spot, he has enough room to have a lift. If y'all want to send us a lift, so we ain't got to do this anymore, just, hey, let us know. We'll come get it. Anywhere in the United States, we'll come get the lift. <laughs> now, this is where all the magic happens. All the good gold. Look at that, guys. Good black oil. This is my first time doing this, so hey, think halfway because I'm always calling my buddy to help me do everything for my car. So this is like technically half a build. <laughs> Good gold, man. All right, so here, taking off the oil filter. First time doing it, so you know, trying to get the gist of how this works. Oil filter, shit tea, man. All right, get this out the way. So, I'm gonna take this oil filter out. As y'all can see, this is what's going on. This is what you don't want. If my grandpa was out here, it'd be probably mad as shit looking at this. But we're about to switch it over here to this STP. Put this right here. Right, hit the red button. Red. Yeah. 
All right, so here I'm putting the O-ring onto the filter casing or attempting to put the O-ring onto the filter casing. Then you put the filter like this, you guys. So they say. So you hear the click in. Now you know you're in the game. So we're going to come back this way. They said, some guy on YouTube said, put a little oil around your old ring or whatever. I guess I'm going to do that. Hey, this is hot. This is not smart. Don't ever stick your hand in there and do this. Because this is quite, it's a high temperature going on in here. Should have probably waited a little bit longer. But, you know. Woo! Getting hot down there, guys. That was not smart. Hot oil. Okay. Buddy said do it by hand, but hell, I got this shit stuck. So I'm gonna have to come back in two seconds. Technical difficulties, people. Screw it in by hand, because you don't want to cross track the hairs. Just learn that, so I'm gonna teach you guys. So we're doing this the right way. So once you get it down here and you see that it's pretty tight, you want to put your tool on there. And get the screwing down. See, whoever put this on the first time absolutely put this shit way too goddamn tight. We're not going to do that here. <laughs> there we go. I feel like uh, that's that's enough for me guys so right here we got the oil filter in replacement whatever so now i'm about to go under the car put the screw back in and put the new castor oil in and we'll be set to go so give me another two seconds and we'll be back with you again all right you good all right so here i'm um applying the castor oil. 5W30 full synthetic. This is what the uh, Beamer recommends, only castor oil. So that's what I've been going with. So I'm about to show y'all this good steady. Oh, damn. <laughs> that definitely <laughs> goes against everything I was just about to say. But normally I have a pretty steady flow when it comes to pouring oil. But I actually found out I'm holding it the wrong way. You're supposed to turn it around. Well, that's probably the smaller oil, um, oil cans for you to turn it around for. But from what I know, it's a one of these and a smaller one, and we are in the game. She's serving up all this cash. Full synthetic, man. No blend around here. Spend good money on this oil, so you know what we gonna do. Get every drop of this guy. All right, that's it for that one. Let me go get the mini one and we can. So again, this is LBB, man. My first little video low budget builds Atlanta you know hey, low budget I am not rich I'm just trying to make it do what it do just like everybody else so this is what I meant by turning around and pouring I saw somebody else do this and I was like dang you learn something new every day oh you see that it's, you can it's way more steady So now I'm about to check the oil levels because I know it should be getting close to being filled up. Make sure we don't have no oil coming out the bottom of this mud. Alright, we're good. Hold up. Gotta get the rag. Check this. there we almost there we 
about the halfway mark. So this last little can of oil should keep us all, well, put us all the way at the filled up point. And I will be out you guys' way, and you can enjoy the rest of your afternoon. But I appreciate y'all showing up and coming and kicking with me on LBB Atlanta. Hey, me and my boy Layton, we're going to have him an episode. When y'all see what he building, y'all going to be like, damn, that guy got skills. That's exactly why I need him helping me. Because I have no skills. I'm a YouTube mechanic. All I do is watch YouTube. Oh, there we go. So we're about to go ahead and put this cap back on. Find these keys. Start her up and hopefully we have no problems. screw holes, make it a little wide bracket with a one pin, and uh, uh, get you another clamp that has another access bolt right here, and just mount it in like that. You don't have to use zip ties. So every time my buddy look under the hood, he see the zip ties. I tell him the zip tie king, and he be like, hell no. So he said I need to go ahead and get a bracket and mount it up so I can get the correct airflow. Hey, he a genius too with these cars. 